ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் கார்த்திகா அகேன் தீபாவளி பண்டிகை கொண்டாடும் அனைவருக்கும் எனது தீபாவளி நல் வாழ்த்துக்கள் ஹாப்பி தீபாவளி டு எனிபடி செலிப்ரேட்டிங் தீபாவளி அண்ட் சுப காலி பூஜோ டு ஆல் ஆஃப் தோஸ் செலிப்ரேட்டிங் காலி பூஜோ டு எவ்ரிபடி எல்ஸ் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் கண்ட் பி டாக்கிங் அபவுட் ஸ்வீட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிசர்ட் ஸோ ஐம் ஷுர் தஸ் சம்திங் ஃபார் யூ அஸ் வெல் ஸோ any time there is a festival like diwali it is an excuse for indian households to prepare sweets and often times we use something called jaggery to prepare our sweets and once something contains jaggery it's no longer a dessert it's almost considered a health food because it is believed to have so many beneficial properties so today's video um is really going to focus on jaggery as a sweetener and i'm going to also objectively try and compare it to white sugar which is commonly otherwise used to make desserts so what is jaggery jaggery is actually an unrefined form of sugar so it's typically made out of palm juice or cane juice and occasionally date juice mostly used in the african continent and in asia so in india it's called gur or in tamil they call it vellam in singapore it's often found as gula malaka and it's used to make desserts basically so what's the process of making jaggery three steps first step is extraction so they extract the juice from whichever plant they want to so it's cane juice or palm juice or whatever it is um the next step is clarification so they allow all the unwanted substances in the juice to sediment and they clarify it and then the third step is basically concentration they then pour this liquid in a hot flat pan and they let it concentrate and then they scrap it off um and then they mold it together and you get beautiful jaggery now let's compare jaggery's nutritional properties with white sugar so any time and this is going to run be a running theme whenever i compare products right um i always like to compare things with equal serving sizes so 100 grams is a lot for any sweetener but for the ease of comparison today i'm going to compare 100 grams of jaggery with 100 grams of white sugar all right so let's start with calories so calorie wise 100 grams of jaggery is said to have about 375 calories and 100 grams of white sugar has about 387 um calories so I can already hear my mom saying see jaggery has less calories than sugar all right but yes it's true it does have less calories but i don't actually think it's meaningfully different like between 375 to 387 not a huge difference but okay i'm going to give the point to jaggery less calories compared to white sugar per 100 grams next is total carbohydrates so jaggery has about 95 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams where sugar is about 99.98 grams of carbohydrates per 100 grams so that way yes you can justify and say that jaggery has a little bit less um carbohydrate concentration compared to white sugar let's now move on to sucrose What is sucrose? Now sucrose is the chemical component of table sugar. So if you look at something like white sugar, it's actually 99 to 100% sucrose. Sucrose is a disaccharide and it's basically made out of one unit of glucose and one unit of fructose. And if, you know, anybody who's heard of the term glucose, you've heard of blood glucose. So glucose is the unit of energy that every cell in our body uses. um fructose on the other hand has to be converted in the liver into glucose before you can use it as energy okay so essentially you know sugar is about 99 to 100% sucrose um whereas in jaggery it has anywhere between 65 to 85 grams of sucrose now this is where things get a little bit tricky because depending on how the jaggery is made and concentrated its sucrose content can be a little bit different nonetheless it is lower in sucrose content compared to white sugar even if you take the 85 number in that so i can give that point to jaggery as well um and then it's got about 10 to 15 grams of fructose and glu- glucose and as i said that's the broken down version of sucrose okay so essentially we can say all right jaggery has less sucrose compared to white sugar let's give that point to jaggery as well next two things protein and fat now jaggery is said to have about 0.4 grams of protein where white sugar has none jaggery is said to have about 0.1 gram of fat where white sugar has none okay so you can say 
or just for argument's sake that jaggery has a better nutrition profile because of that but the reality is nobody should be getting their protein and fat source from jaggery or white sugar which are both forms of added sugars right so i'm gonna call that an even okay next this is where things get interesting the next four things i'm gonna compare are micronutrient content so micronutrients are things that we consume in milligrams and micrograms and nanograms and they are basically things like iron calcium magnesium and potassium let's start with iron so jaggery is said to have about 11 milligrams of iron per 100 grams so this might be where a lot of practitioners in the east um you know may get their information from when they're saying jaggery is good for iron deficiency anemia now the problem with this is that you need to eat 100 grams of jaggery in order to get 11 milligrams of iron and you know overall there are many other sources of iron such as beans and nuts and legumes and pulses chicken fish red meat eggs um, and leafy green vegetables that it really doesn't make sense for you to be getting your iron source from something that also has so much sugar right but having said that it doesn't mean that jaggery doesn't have a space in the solution for iron deficiency anemia so let's say you have a child who's a picky eater who's someone just that just doesn't like any of those other iron rich foods that i just mentioned and you're desperate to give that child a little bit of an iron source you can give that child small amounts of jaggery just to help them push along while you try your best to introduce some of those other foods um so yeah it does have a space and it does have some iron all right the next thing is calcium now jaggery is said to have about 40 to 100 milligrams of calcium where white sugar has none um and calcium is of course good for bones and calcium is typically found in dairy products it's also found in nuts um and seeds and it's found in tofu it's found in green vegetables um and if you think about something like dairy you'll easily get 200 to 300 milligrams from like a cup of milk or equivalent from a dairy product so when you compare that to like 40 to 100 milligrams of calcium from jaggery it's not a lot but if you compare that to white sugar that has no calcium jaggery wins again all right so the next thing is magnesium this is an interesting one so jaggery is said to have about 70 to 90 milligrams of magnesium per 100 grams now why is this interesting a lot of practitioners believe that jaggery is good for indigestion and it's often something that you know i'm sure your grandma has told you it's really good for your stomach so some families actually have the habit of eating like a little bit of jaggery after meals and this magnesium might be the reason why so magnesium as a mineral has a tendency to pull fluids into your intestines when ingested and hence can help with good bowel movements. So essentially, if jaggery does have magnesium, that might be the component in jaggery that's helping with the digestive process or sort of helping you push your bowels along. So maybe some food for thought over there. And so yes, definitely magnesium exists in jaggery where it doesn't exist in white sugar. So again, points for jaggery um next thing is potassium so about 100 milligrams of um sorry a thousand milligrams of potassium in 100 grams of jaggery so essentially you know white sugar doesn't have that but you can get potassium from a lot of green vegetables you can get it from fruits um and so you don't really need an added sugar to be giving you potassium but it has potassium where white sugar doesn't so what am i trying to say here the reality is jaggery has everything in sugar that makes it desirable and nice and yummy but it also has some extra micronutrients that has some beneficial components but the important thing to note is those same things the iron the calcium the magnesium the potassium can be found in other foods that are number one in higher concentrations in those foods without the negative impact of sugar um, in those foods as well so you can actually get those things from other things so if the choice was between white sugar and jaggery of course hands down choose jaggery all day any day but if the choice is between having added sugars and not having added sugars 
you definitely want to choose to minimize added sugars whenever possible because regardless of whether it's jaggery or sugar they are all going to be broken down into glucose and cause your blood glucose levels to go up and when your blood glucose level goes up it results in a cascade of events that results in the same outcome okay which is chronic diseases and people who are sensitive you know diabetes poor blood glucose management etc etc okay so this is where we need to be careful so how do we manage that we recognize that jaggery is still a form of added sugar and we still need to be very mindful of quantity and frequency of consumption so whenever you're using it in desserts, make sure that you try your best. If the recipe calls for one cup of jaggery, let's try and make do with two thirds cup or a half a cup, right? Let's try and use things like cardamom and cinnamon and other spices that can also give you a sweet taste and flavor without additional sugar in it, right? And so basically what jaggery is, is a sugar alternative. Now, this is a trap that a lot of us tend to fall in. So if you go into the market, you're going to see a lot of things like coconut sugar, date sugar, date juice, um, you know, agave nectar. These are all just sugars in different names. They are all going to cause your blood glucose level to go up, some at a slower rate than others. But energy needs to go somewhere. And if it is going to be broken down into glucose, then it needs to be used by your body. So it's not really benefiting you the way that you think. Right? I'm always concerned about a food being touted as healthier than another without an explanation of whether it's meaningfully healthier. So the next time someone tells me, hey, you should try this sugar, it's good for you, it's healthier than white sugar, challenge them, ask them how, ask them why, right? And you'll get to know a lot more and you'll feel more empowered to make the right decision for yourself and for your family. Now, sugar alternatives are very different than non-nutritive sweeteners. So these are things like aspartame and sucralose and erythritol. These are things that you find in things like Diet Coke and your sugar-free chewing gums and things like that. So that's a conversation for another day and it's very different than the conversation about alternative sugars like jaggery, um, or honey or maple syrup or coconut sugar or date sugar etc okay because all of these things will cause your blood glucose to go up okay so you know in conclusion i just want to say sugar by any other name can be just as sweet and just as detrimental so whenever you're making your desserts and you're enjoying your desserts just keep that in the back of your mind and still moderate quantity still moderate frequency and always challenge people when they tell you something is healthier or something is a miraculous cure-all for everything okay what other sugars have you heard about what other things have your family and friends told you that's like the solution for all problems and you would like me to talk about um, add it to the comment section subscribe uh, to the channel and you can hear more of such content have a safe diwali Enjoy your day and take care. Bye.